Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, check out this 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 article I found. Uh, men shared more equally in the housework early in pandemic study reveals. Okay, fine. Yeah. Because there's less things to do outside the house, I'm guessing. Okay. I've not read this article, so we're just going to kind of react to it <laughs> as I read it. So, uh, yeah, let's go, shall we? All right, let's do this. So, okay. A UTM study shows that early in the pandemic, the lockdown had an equalizing effect on domestic lab, I'm guessing labor, and it got cut off. Uh, COVID-19 continues to fundamentally disrupt our way of life, and many observers are concerned about its current and long-term impacts on gender equality. Oh boy, here we go. In media reports, research, pap research papers, and public opinion surveys, we hear warnings from economists, government ministers, and huma humanitarian leaders about the pandemic's regressive effects on women's independence, <laughs> freedom from violence, huh, and workforce participation by exacerbating long-standing inequalities the pandemic could as the United Nations Deputy Secretary General who that's a title has cautioned set women's rights back by decades what and yet new research by Toronto University of Toronto Mississauga so, Mrs. I don't know, sociology professor Melissa Milkey mm, offers a glimmer of hope in one key area, how women and men split up labor at home. Why does anybody care about this? And why do people think this is like a gender war thing? by what's happening in their private home. Hmm. Okay. Milky is a uh, co-author of the study published in November 2020, conducted with UTM sociology postdoctoral fellow Casey Schiebling and McMaster University social scientist professor Kevin Schaefer. Schaefer? Schaefer? The paper reveals that during lockdown in the first wave, men shared more equally in house housework and child care tasks than they did prior to the pandemic. Okay, uh, the pandemic is showing potential to be an equalizer, says Milky, whose research focuses on structural and cultural changes in gender, work, and family life over recent decades. Our findings based on data from very early in the pandemic show that if fathers are in the home more and work allows them to be flexible, they are more likely to be able to step up to the kinds of demands that families have. They weren't stepping up before. Um... In whose opinion? And if they were out of the house, how are they able to step up more? Especially if he's the one making most of the money and out working all those hours. How is he not stepping up? Is he not stepping up because the wife is bitching and she has to do this work for the kids? Well, then don't have kids, bitch. <laughs> the study is based on results of a survey conducted last May featuring the responses of one, two, three, four male, female couples across Canada, except for none of it, which, if I remember, that's like way the fuck up north, uh, like North Pole kind of thing, with at least one child. The participants were asked about their perceptions of the sharing of household chores and child rearing both before and after the pandemic. The researchers took into account mitigating factors such as parents' work arrangements and household income. Okay. Sorry if you uh, hear some yelling and stuff. There's uh, snow outside and there's kids playing, so. Yeah. <laughs> First, the percentage of respondents indicated that the fathers did at least half of the housework and child care increased after the pandemic hit. Okay, so this is just what the people, what the women i'm guessing in this household are reporting so they could be lying 
when it came to, or exaggerating or under exaggerating, when it came to household tasks specifically, an increase occurred in meal preparation. Pre-pandemic, 46% said this work was shared 50-50 or that fathers did more than mothers. But after the outbreak, that number rose to 50%. I could see that. I mean, if everything's shut down, then he's just going to come home after work, right? And he'll have time to do it. So there were similarly small shifts towards equal performance of meal cleanup and house cleaning and larger shifts for shopping. And also, I wanted to point out, who's paying for all this? From what it sounds like, the guys are still working, so they're paying the bills. So, in my opinion, you have no right to complain. Okay. Changes to handling child care responsibilities also revealed a shift towards equal tasks sharing. The biggest gain emerged in the area of organizing and planning children's activities. 46% of respondents indicated only 46%. That this was an equally shared task or that fathers did more than mothers before COVID, while 57% said this was the case during the pandemic. Smaller increases occurred for reading, monitoring, talking, listening, and the physical care of young children. Well, yeah, because they're after they're done at work, then there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Maybe some stuff outside, where, uh, like yard work or something like that, but everything else is still shut down. Yeah. Uh, to contextualize these shifts in the father's contribution to the domestic vision of labor, the researchers took into consideration the needs uh, exposure hypothesis. It po posits that with more fathers spending more time at home during the pandemic due to the remote work, reduced work, unemployment, and less commuting and leisure time, what did I say? They become more attuned to the needs of their families. It's not that. They were already attuned and they were already working harder. I mean, this this doesn't talk about, like, uh, them doing overtime so they can get more money um, or doing other things outside the house that need to be done. But the pandemic kind of shut everything down so they don't have to do that or they're just not able to do it right now. See, they're, they're jumping the gun and just are automatically saying, like, oh, now they can be more attuned as if they weren't before and why would they automatically assume that i don't know fathers may be doing more proportionally than the past because they are seeing their family more and so feel compelled to contribute says milky knowing that this hypothesis is born out of research into the effects of parental leave and flexible work policies or milky um your own bias milky's research results mirror similar studies conducted early in the pandemic in the United States and United Kingdom and Australia, but, but her optimism is tempered by recent trends showing declines in women's workforce participation as they decrease their hours or quit their jobs to care for their, their children learning at home. Yeah, because you can't pawn them off on daycare and school. Oh no, you have to take care of the kids that you decided to have? Jesus. And another thing, if women were so downtrodden and were thought of as being lesser than men, why would we leave them into, why would we leave our children in the care of women? Good question to think about. A lot would have changed, a lot would have to change in the way we organize work, school, and child care to make true progress on gender equality in the home. Oh, Jesus. We need to address the structural inequalities that regulate more women than men to low status, low paying jobs. That's not true. What the fuck? We also need policies that allow fathers to be more active participants in their families. I mean, that's, sure, I, I can agree with that. That's, there's some inequalities there. There's not inequalities about regulating more women to, than men to low paying, low status jobs. That's fucking stupid. That's, it's way illegal and it doesn't happen. Sorry. And anyway, that's all I got on that. That's that's that was my reactions as I was reading it. So uh, maybe I'll do some more of these. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me know what you think. You know, as my cool little overlay says, like, share, subscribe. It doesn't say comment, so do that too if you want. You know, I don't care. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I love you all. 
I really do. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.